to realize he was heading for the first losing season of his pro career. Though early on, good blocking by number 53, Ray Donaldson, and poor tackling by the Dolphins had the Colts pointed towards win number eight. Still in the first, Jeff George buys himself some more time scrambling, finds Bill Brooks, 24-yard touchdown pass, seven all, 10-7 pass. A senior. Does he give Ron Meyer a vote of confidence as the Colts host the Lions? Well, early on, Jeff Boyd George to Clarence Verdan down to the two-yard line. Four to three. The Seahawks defense got nasty. The Colts got Henri Patrick Hunter throws Clarence Verdine into the turf. Cortez Kennedy sacks Jeff George. He doesn't even have a helmet and goes after Cortez Kennedy. Play scoring play. On the other side of the ball, Jeff George gets sandwiched by Daryl Davis and Dennis Bird. But George hung in there, TJ. And Robin, Jeff George has a lot of ability. Here you see him throwing against his body. Beautiful throw to the end zone. He'll be a great quarterback if he only lives through this season. Hi. <laughs> 21-14 Jets. Colts next possession. George finds Hester again for a touchdown from seven yards out. It's 21 all. Then after the Jets fumble the ensuing kickoff, George finds Billy Brooks on the same pattern, also from seven yards out. George matches his season touchdown total. Look at two. They have the ball at the eight. Two plays later. Jeff George, Jesse Hester. Unbelievable. The Colts lead at seven nothing. They're running a run and shoot, Tom. Yes, and Jeff George here shows his maturity, makes a good read on the blitz, goes to Jesse Hester and throws the pattern right behind the defender. Only 20,000 and some change on hand, but they saw a good one. Colts going up top to Jeff George. Jeff George, he hits Jesse Hester. It's nice down here, the good weather. Colts try to come back. Jeff George. Tommy, you've said it. If he survives this and coming seasons, he could be outstanding. You don't believe us? Watch this. Zing! Touchdown, Billy Brooks. But these are the Colts. And there was a flag on the play. Clipping. Colts outscored this year 381 to 143. With a new team, a new number, and same strong arm, Jeff George got off to a flying start as a Falcon. George to pass. A lot of time. He can run if he wants to. Deep down the middle, there's Rising Wide open at the 25. Go, baby. 10, 5. Kiss Andre goodbye. But some things never change. Despite throwing three touchdown passes, Georgia's team still managed to lose the game. Anthony Carter's touchdown. Straight to L.A. So would QB Jeff George find Andre Risen today. Oh, boy, would he? George to Risen, eight yards. George to Risen, seven yards. I'll get used to this. George to Risen again, but uh, Andre fumbles and is recovered by the Rams. What happens, E.J.? Well, you look right here, Andre Risen turns right there. He gets face mask right there, fumbles the ball, and very odd, the ball stayed in bounds, but the referees call the face mask. So the Falcons keep the ball. Next play, George finds who else? Who else? I got you. Terrence Mathis on the rollout, capping a 13-play, 74-yard drive on their first possession at the PAT. It was 7 nothing Falcons. June Jones' team gets it back. They drive again, and George finds Risen again, this time in the end zone, a 16-yard strike. 14-0 Falcons. Ryzen becomes the Falcons' all-time reception leader, 368 already in his career, surpassing Alfred Jenkins. 17-7 halftime score for Miller, the former Falcons QB. Three interceptions, but his replacement, George, finds Ryzen yet again. Number two the, for Ryzen, who he was good for his word. George and Ryzen, Ryzen and George. Still Washington 13-7. George finds Brett Emanuel a great one-handed snag. Going in for the score. What would happen today? On the Falcons' third drive, still leading 7-0. George down the sideline looking for Andre Risen, covered by Demery again. A 36-yard touchdown pass. Jeff George, he wants to get on the act. Drops back, hits a wide open. Terrence Mathis, a 32-yard strike, 34-10. While Elway was on the turf, Jeff George went to the air for two first-half touchdowns. The two at the one, Burks in the end zone for a touchdown. George responded with back-to-back -to -back touchdowns to Terrence Mathis to put the Falcons up by 11 in the final quarter. To the near side now throws downfield. Mathis open at the 15, to the 10, to the 5. Touchdown! Touchdown, Terrence Mathis! <laughs> Terrence Mathis gets the Atlanta touchdown. What a year he's having. That's his 81st catch of the year. George 
Going to throw back left as we roll right. Rising. Out of bounds at the 12. They finally got him. The Eagles by one. The Falcons have the ball. Jeff George up the middle. Pass is caught by Terrence Mathis. What a catch. George. Touchdown, Mathis. He can slip a ball in there, as you said. First down 10, Jeff George looking, looking, fires far sideline, wide open for Emanuel. He could be gone. Kispert, bye-bye. Touchdown. Ryan's defense puts pressure on the secondary, and Terry Hogue felt the air. No ordinary expansion team. The Panthers would press the Falcons in a tight contest. In overtime, the way to win was on the right arm of Jeff George. From there, Jeff George behind center, Roman Porter. Short drop, quick toss, corner of the end zone, touchdown! Burns, even yeah. Maurice Hurst actually made a great play. We won't see it again, but he made a great play defensively. That was a shaky call, at least for the Patriots' point of view, but this was a shaky look at Eric Metcalf. What Jeff George says here, this is what we do in the run and shoot, we throw it. Look at Eric Metcalf. Black at him, go! He could go all the way. 62 yards, just like that. The Falcons have tied it at seven. Under nine minutes to go in the second quarter. Good rush by Wardell Rouse. But George, nimble, fires on the run. Burt Emanuel makes the sliding catch. 14 seconds. <laughs> Was real mad, but three plays later, George takes advantage of the call. Nice sling to Emmanuel, 30 yards back of the end zone. Bert Emmanuel, nine catches, pair of touchdowns, buck 21. 13 nothing now in the second after a Morton Anderson field goal. Jeff George, the swing pass to Bert Emmanuel. Emmanuel, good blocking, good speed, 13 yards. That leads to George. Play fake. Eric Metcalf, touchdown. It's a laugh for 19 0. Yeah, wide receiver screen here outside the Bird Emmanuel. The reason you do this, you want to get him one on one outside. Only guy in the area, Ryan McNeil. Long gain for Emmanuel all the way down to the three yard line. And that will set up division Rich Brooks saying, How do we stop Atlanta? Well, not easily. Chances are that Terrence Mathis going to catch the touchdown pass from Jeff George. Seven of things fouls. George and Mathis hook up again. It's the 12th of never. Actually, it's a 17-yard touchdown. It's 14-0 Falcons. The special team coach Rich Brooks says it was worth a try, but we're still on 14-6. Jeff George, Tommy to Eric Metcalf. George just looks so good, doesn't he? Yeah, a great job of Metcalf concentrating on the football. But you've got three Rams there. Two of them slow down. They don't wrap. Again, we saw some awful tackling today. <laughs> First down for Atlanta. Quick throw. Royal Preston inside the 40. Keeps his feet. Royal. Preston inside the 20, he is gone. Touchdown Atlanta. There are no flags, and for Preston, that is his first touchdown of the year. That starts in Atlanta drive, first down at the 32. Watch this play to Bert Emanuel, and Terrell Buckley with Terrell. Terrell, you have to look at the ball carrier. <laughs> Falcons at the half. Third quarter, George, the fake to Eric Metcalf, the swing to Iron. Head. 25 yards on the play, Tom. It's going to be big yardage. Speaking of which, the little floater to Ironhead, don't even get my way. Touchdown, it's 16-0, Hotlanta in the Georgia Dome with the Saints, by the way, we're 3-0 coming in. Although early on, Jeff George had his way. For the 15-yard line, zing! Derek Metcalf, touchdown. Tom Capers is down 7-0 in the first, but Jeff George of Atlanta to Craig Hayward. He's a big guy. 14-0. Over the middle. Unafraid to take a shot, he led the team in touchdown receptions despite missing two games. Anything Mathis couldn't hold, Bird Emanuel was there to scoop up. Snagging 74 ball. Distributing the ball to the 4,000-yard players was quarterback Jeff George, who displayed a newfound touch in 95. In his second year at the helm, he showed a firm grasp of the four-wide receiver offense, standing in the pocket, making multiple reads, then gunning at home. 
the second straight season, George also started every game. Instruments like the 4,000 yard players and a director like Jeff George. Jeff George under pressure. And that's going to throw deep. What a play by Jeff George. Eric Metcalf just caught a bullet with his hand. And a timing grab by Atlanta Falcons slogged to an early wild card lead against the Packers. On the run, has Metcalf open at the 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. One of the few bright spots for Atlanta was Jeff George. And chances are he'll find Terrence Mathis. That diminutive one. Goes 55 yards down to the Carolina 23-yard line. Jeff George and the Falcons it did not score a touchdown last week. Struggling, but in the opening drive of the third quarter, three yards to Terrence Mathis. It's the 12th of never, or maybe just six points. They capitalize on the 10 third and goal. Shotgun to Mathis. Whoop, 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 whoop. Makes the play very Emerson Boozer-like. 17-10. Jones and George would get into a heated argument, and they're not talking about Harmon Wage's career. Fourth quarter, 26-18, Eagles following a Terrence Mathis. Calm, poised Jeff George found stellar wide receiver Tim Brown often, hitting number 81 eight times for 158 yards. A determined fourth quarter comeback featuring two more touchdown passes to Tim Brown forced sudden death overtime. But in overtime, a field goal gave Tennessee a 24-21 win. For Harvey Williams, now a tight end was the man in motion, and Jeff George flings it and is caught by Brown. And Tim Brown with a big game in motion. He'll operate out of the slot. Chiefs jump. We have the first penalty of the game. George throws, and that's brought in by Dudley. And Ricky Dudley with a big game, still moving, finally tackled at the 34-yard line. Tim Brown shadowed by Carter, bottom of the screen. George gets protection, lofts one deep, and somehow. <laughs> some way James Jett makes the catch through the arms of Mark McMillan 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 the little man 5'7 but a good man-to-man -man defender what He's a right throw. there right where he should be gets the hands up and this is a great catch one two first down at the 35 George throws and it's caught at the 45 by Brown and Timmy takes it to the 41 yard line from the 37 yard line Good protection again. Pass is caught by Ricky Dudley. Touchdown, Oakland. Oh, they were trying to cover him. Joe Aska, the sole setback. Pass over the middle. Caught in the goal line. In for the touchdown, Ricky Dudley again. Dudley's erasing all of those doubts. Second down and nine. George flings it over the middle to a wide open Timmy Brown. Brown is run out of bounds at the 37-yard line. I don't know whether I'd be fired up with the booze, Tom, or, or get excited, you know, get down about it. But Jeff George definitely, he knew it was coming. Jeff actually telling us yesterday that uh, no real animosity for the fans or players of the Falcons. George, Brown wide open center of the field to the 25 yard. What George is able to do is be able to have time to throw. An excellent block with Cornelius Bennett by Coffin. Result, excellent catch by Jet. And as you can see, he knows he was. <laughs> George, wide open. Dudley, the tight end, got away from another man. Dudley to the 40, rambling to the 30, cuts back, a stiff arm has into the 15. And there's the gesture from Jeff George pointing to the crowd that has booed him throughout the entire game. He'll keep that football, I suspect. <laughs> if he's going to boo to the crowd, he's point to the crowd. He might want to do it the whole way around the stadium. And I believe he will. <laughs> Falcons dominate time of possession, 36 minutes, 50 seconds, but lose the game. And, and look Jeff at Jeff George is rubbing it in. He sure is. 
I don't know if I'd want to do that. Just accept the victory and go into the locker room. Jeff George with a taunt for the Falcons fans who have booed him all day. Keeps the game ball as the Raiders notch their first victory of the season. A victory lap for Jeff George. He better hope he doesn't return to Atlanta anytime soon. And he is. You're right. He's doing a victory lap. He's going to all four corners of the end zone, and he's not stopping. Did they say this was the new, mature Jeff George? Strike that. We'll be back to Atlanta. I feel a little earlier in the women's ball, but look where this ball ends up, folks. It is absolutely perfectly thrown. Jet does not lose stride, and Jet is gone. He got to, with his speed behind Otis Smith. What did George tell us yesterday? He said <laughs> they needed five for the first down. Oh, wide open. Going for six, and it's wide open. Tim Brown. 29-yard touchdown, and George has thrown his second.